Hi, this is Nathan from Sound Iron. Today I'm going to show you some simple ways to use your MIDI controller most effectively. Basically every knob and control you see in contact you can automate using a MIDI controller or CC numbers. You can of course right click on any knob you want to control, press learn CC number automation and then move the fader or knob you want to control it with. But contact also has this automation tab where you can see all the pre-assigned controls and edit them. You can drag and drop numbers to knobs to control them. Let's hear how it sounds when I automate the tone knob. Another thing I like to do is automate the effects rack. You can do things like roll the reverb mix higher and lower. You could also automate the arpeggiator to change arpeggio direction. This is great if you know you want to use certain chords but need some new ideas. If you have a fader or knob on your MIDI controller and you don't know what CC number it's controlling, you can just move the knob or fader here and it'll light up, showing you what number it's controlling. Logic X also has smart controls built in that you can also automate. The last thing I'll show you is if you want to limit the range that your knob is controlling. You can adjust this number from 100 to anything you like. Then when you turn your fader all the way up, you're only turning the effect 30% up. You could also control two effects with one knob or fader. Let's hear what that sounds like. That's all for now. Please subscribe here if you're not already, and we'll talk to you soon.